morning everybody. We're here today to have a look at what is involved in a glass fusion inclusion workshop. So on the workshop we make either six coaster pieces or three wall hanging pieces. And the coaster pieces are this size, 10 by 10 centimetres. And they don't have to be coasters, they can be little pictures made um, using the glass. Um, or, as I say, some hanging pieces that you can just hang in your window. Unfortunately, you can't see very well what's involved in this one, um, but I will talk you through what we do on the workshop. Now, we've got an array of um, glass pens and glass frits. A glass frit is ground down glass, and we have different grades of it for you to use. Um, I've got an example here, I don't know if you can see very well, this is a, a medium grade, okay, and then we also have a finer grade, it's a bit like caster sugar, okay, and basically what we do is we start off with two pieces of clear glass, and then a good wash, um, make sure there's no fingerprints on them and then we use all manner of things to decorate them and we can use as I say the fritz that I showed you a moment ago um, let me just move these bits out of the way we have um, I think you might be able to just see that this is called a stringer and it's a long piece of glass looks a bit like spaghetti but I wouldn't suggest eating it this is a blue one and we've got quite a few different colours. So if you want straight lines or anything in your designs, you can use those. Or if you want to do a little bit of drawing, like I've done on this flower here, you can see just around the outlines, I've used a black liner. And that's done using a glass line pen. It's just glass paint, specialist paint, um, that comes in a pot like this with a little silver tip on it and we use that for drawing or writing with so you'll be able to use those as well and again we have a nice selection of colours in those and this is um, a little sampler I made and it's got all the different colours that we've got and I've written on it and fired it and you can see there what colours the glass line pens develop into once they've been fired. So that's what you can do with those. We can also use little paper cutters like these, but we use them not for paper, but for cutting out sheets, patterns from pieces of copper. Now this is a very shiny piece of copper and it's not been fired yet, it's just a plain sheet. And I've, I don't know if you can see, I've already taken out some little pieces there. And in this little pot, I'll just need my tweezers here, just to show you. Let me just turn it round so you can see. And this one's a little butterfly. Can you see that there? And we can pop those in between the glass and make pretty patterns with those. And we've got some various other cutters as well that you'll be able to use. Now I'll show you this piece again, this window hanging piece. I'll show it close up. Now you can see, I think, some of the butterflies in there. Okay, let me see those in there. And you can see little flakes of copper mica in there as well. So you can do all sorts of things. But one thing you'll notice is that the butterflies, once they've been fired, have changed colour. So pre-firing, they're this lovely coppery colour. Oops, dropped that one. And once they're fired, they go an antique rose gold um, in this piece. But sometimes, depending on what fritz you use with them, depends on what type of colour you'll get. And um, when I fire onto white fritz, I get a lovely bluey, petroly colour on the copper. So that's pretty much everything that's involved in the glass fusing. You can go from doing um, flowers, drawings, to more abstract pieces. This piece here I'll just show you. This is a very abstract sea themed piece. It's quite pale in colour, um, the sandy colour at the bottom, but you can get the idea of the wave going round here. Um, you can use stronger colours, obviously, if you want to. 
Um, with glass fusing, once you have created your glass sandwiches, which is what I, I kind of term them, um, they need to go into the kiln. So just over back here, you'll see the kiln. Um, the pieces need to be fired. So unfortunately, you won't be able to take them home on the day, but you will certainly be able to come back a few days later and collect what you have made. So I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, and if you wish to book onto the Fusion Inclusion Workshop, you can do that either online on our website um, or you can drop into the studio and you can book it with either myself or Mike. Um, our web address will be appearing shortly on the end of this video, so you'll be able to use that link to go through to our website if you want to see more about what is happening with our classes. Anyway, we hope to see you soon. Um, bye for now and we'll be back soon.